Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Thursday of the sixth week of Easter. No, not Ascension Thursday here in our Archdiocese. Ascension Thursday or Ascension, the Feast of the Ascension of our Lord has been transferred to this coming Sunday. So today is simply Thursday, uh, the th- the sick of the sixth week of Easter, and not a holy day of obligation. Uh, that has been, uh, like I said, the feast was moved to Sunday here in our archdiocese. Many archdioceses around uh, the world, around the country, and so uh, we we celebrate Ascension on Sunday. So today, uh, in our first reading, Paul finally gets to Corinth one of his uh, more successful uh, churches, a church to whom he wrote two letters. And today we see that uh, the uh, good news of the resurrection of Christ and of his uh, gospel message has gotten a foothold in Corinth. So thank you, St. Paul, for your hard work and efforts there. And I'm sure (coughs) the people in that part of the world, still celebrate their Christianity at a very, very deep level. Our gospel today, Jesus still trying to make himself clear to his disciples about the fact that he's going from them. He's getting ready to leave them. Uh, This talk he's giving them still taking place at the Last Supper, talking about how he's going to be going away, they're not going to see him, but then they will see him. (laughs) You know, first they won't, and then they will. Um, And, you know, hey, come on. If someone were to tell you that, you know, um, you'd probably be a little bit confused as well. So we got to give our dear apostles a little break here. Uh, If they, you know, at first glance might seem a little dense, We've got 2,000 years of hindsight on our side. They were getting this live and in person and um, probably a little disconcerting to them. But we too, you know, we, we're going through this journey ourselves and, and you know, we're, we go through rough patches in our lives where we feel separated, separated from God. God, where are you? You know, but he, uh, he's always with us. You know, and this, his presence is with us through the power of the Holy Spirit that he promised us. And also, thanks be to God, his presence is also here with us in the, pres- in the form of the Holy Eucharist, the true presence of his body, blood, soul, and divinity, his gift to us, food for eternal life. And sometimes we feel separated from God, but we're really not. And as Jesus says today in the gospel, you know, our mourning and our sadness, our, our, our weeping will be turned to joy. And, you know, the true joy is going to happen when we are resurrected with him, when we're face to face with him in his father's kingdom for all eternity in the presence of God. That's when we'll have the true rejoicing and the true joy. But here, even here on this journey, you know, let's celebrate those times when we feel his, his presence, when we, when we have that sense of, of belonging and being connected to him. Hopefully every time we attend mass and, and uh, the times between also that, that, that sense of belonging lingers in our hearts so let us pray always that we always remember that our our hearts should be joy-filled and not not sad sad due to separation but joyful due to to connection to a relationship with our lord so we pray our evening prayer and i'm having to use my my liturgy the hours book today because uh all that they have in the ivory without any uh, um, options is ascension. 
so uh, we have to uh, uh, switch to paper. But that's fine. That's fine. I, I enjoy getting back into my breviary. Uh, just uh, remind me of how to flip those pages back and forth and, and navigate the book. It's good to stay uh, connected to my breviary as well. So we pray in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God has appointed him to judge the living and the dead. Alleluia. O oh, give, oh God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and the poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth for the people and the hills Peace, forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the, of the people and save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon from age to age. He shall descend like rain on the meadow, like raindrops on the earth. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea from the great river to earth's bounds. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the sea coast shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate, all nations shall serve him. God has appointed him to judge the living and the dead. Alleluia. All peoples of the earth will be blessed in him. Alleluia. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives. To him their blood is dear. Long may he live. May the gold of Sheba be given him. They shall pray for him without ceasing and bless him all the day. May corn be abundant in the land to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rustle like Lebanon. May men flourish in the cities like grass on the earth. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever blessed his glorious name. Let, the, let his glory fill the earth. Amen. Amen. We call upon your name, Father, and pronounce it blessed above the earth. Give your people the fullness of peace and justice in your kingdom. All the people of the earth will be blessed in him. Alleluia. Christ yesterday and today, he is the same forever. Alleluia. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, you have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. <coughs> Christ yesterday and today, he is the same forever. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. The reason why Christ died for sins once for all, the just man for the sake of the unjust, was that he might lead us to God. He was put to death insofar as fleshly existence goes, but was given life in the realm of the Spirit. He went to heaven and is at God's right hand, with angelic rulers and powers subjected to him. 
The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your sorrow will be turned into joy, and that joy no one will take from you. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Your sorrow will be turned into joy, and that joy no one will take from you. Alleluia. The Father has established in Christ the foundation of all our hope and the principle of our resurrection. Let us rejoice in Christ and cry out to him, saying, King of glory, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, through your resurrection, you entered the sanctuary of heaven, to offer the blood of your own sacrifice. Lead us with you into the glory of the Father. King of glory, hear our prayer. Through your resurrection, you confirmed the faith of your disciples and sent them out into the world. Make all bishops and priests faithful preachers of the gospel. King of glory, hear our prayer. Through your resurrection, you became our peace and reconciliation. Unite the baptized in perfect communion of faith and love. King of glory, hear our prayer. Through your resurrection, the crippled man was healed at the gate of the temple. Look on the sick and reveal in them the power of your glory. King of glory, hear our prayer. You became the firstborn from the dead, the first fruits of the resurrection. Grant to the dead who hoped in you a share in your glory. King of glory, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Let us pray together the words that Jesus himself taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, may we always give you thanks for raising Christ our Lord to glory, because we are his people and share the salvation he won. For he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone, and we'll see you all tomorrow.